Hey guys, Brian with Limelight Detailing here in Eagle, Idaho, and today we are polishing a Lexus uh, sedan, and this particular vehicle has gone through the car wash a lot. Um, as with a lot of cars here, um, we have some amazing uh, automated car washes here in Southern Idaho, but unfortunately, you know, you kind of sacrifice protection for convenience uh, when you take your car through through car washes. Um, yeah, it's going to get a lot of the topical dirt off by running it through there, but um, one of the difficult things about automated car washes is that they they're not properly cleaned all the time. All of the brushes that are used on you know the 30 or 40 cars that go ahead of you, those are also going to be used on your car. So a lot of the dirt that's been on other vehicles, they're going to be transferred to your vehicle. And so this particular car has gone through the car wash a lot, and so there's a lot of spider webs and swirl marks all over the hood of the paint. And so we're gonna do our very best to try to polish some of these out today. Um, and so I'm gonna just do a demonstration on how we polish some paint. Um, so today I'm working with a Makita uh, dual action polisher. This is a cordless buffer. Um, you've seen this in a lot of my other videos. This is pretty much our workhorse every day. Um, and I'm using a Meguiar's uh, microfiber cutting pad and in conjunction with uh, Rupes Uno Protect. This is an awesome polish. Um, it also has some protective properties of a sealant um, and it's also gonna clean uh, the paint really well. So what I do is I'm just gonna do a couple dabs on the microfiber pad here. Um, about five dots is about what you need. Maybe six for good luck. Um, I'll put this down. And so whenever we're polishing, um, I like to just kind of spread it out a little bit on the pad. You don't want it to be goopy and you don't want to glob it all over. So I put about that much on there. And whenever we're doing protection, or excuse me, whenever we're doing correction on paint, you want to work in like a two foot by two foot section. You don't want to try to spread it. And you know, it's not like painting a house or something where you're trying to spread product all over. That's more of, you know, when we're applying wax, we can work in bigger sections when we're just applying. But whenever we're doing correction, we want to work in smaller sections so that we get a really good finish. So anyway, I am using this uh, on what's called a force drive setting, which means I'm really going to be agitating the paint. Uh, working at pretty high speeds in order to try to get some of these swirl marks out. So I just start right here. Um, and one other thing before I start, I, it should be noted, at what stage of the process are we polishing? So this particular car, um, we're doing our limelight detail on, which entails washing the entire vehicle. Uh, we then put an iron remover on all of the paint. That's gonna pull a lot of the particles out of the paint and clean the paint properly. Um, this car also has been sitting in the sun a lot, so there was a lot of uh, irrigation water spots and other, other water spots from, from rain and um, also chemical runoff and other kinds of things that dry on the paint. And so we did a mild acid on this um, after we washed it. That removed a lot of the water spots. And so what you're left with is a very clean surface to work with. It's just got a lot of swirl marks. And so we're gonna do our best to try to get those out. So it's really important before you ever polish a car that you go through that entire process. You wanna wash it, you wanna do an acid rinse if there's water spots present, use an iron remover. Um, and then lastly, we did clay bar this to get any kind of uh, topical things off, off the paint to make it nice and smooth before we polish. So. So we've kind of done a quick two foot by two foot section right here. And anytime that you're working with a polish or a compound and you're trying to remove swirl marks and you're trying to correct the paint, you want to be sure that you don't leave polish on very long. So I'm going to just wipe this right off. It doesn't need any time. Like it's not like a wax where you allow it to sit on the paint. You want to get it off as soon as you can.
So anyway, we got a nice finish on here. I mean, this is an eight year old vehicle, so there's gonna still be some rock chips and things on the paint, but a lot of those spider webs have been removed that were caused at the car wash. So you can kind of see the difference. So anyway, that is a quick demonstration of how we polish a vehicle. And this is found in all of our exterior details as well as our limelight package. Um, so if that's something you need done, if you've got swirl marks in your paint, give us a call. We'd love to get rid of those for you. Call us at 208-391-3455 or check us out at limelightdetail.com.